Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And tonight's forecast, we'll see those temperatures. They've actually come down fairly quickly this evening, but there's warmer air to the south of us, so I don't think we're going to see a lot of movement now the rest of the night. Just kind of hanging in the upper 40s to about 50 degrees. That'll be the pattern here with our nightcast. And some clouds still around, too, partly to mostly cloudy skies. But then with the breaks in the clouds tomorrow, nice warm-up expected, 49, 8 o'clock, but upper 50s at noon, and should make it into the low 60s tomorrow afternoon or around 60 degrees at 5 p.m. Look at those afternoon highs. Low 60s expected, uh, at least in our area. Even some mid and upper 60s heading south into Kentucky, down into West Virginia, if you have some travel plans that way. Notice some cooler air on Sunday northwest of us, 45 at Chicago. But even here, we're still expecting those highs to be in the upper 50s to about 60 degrees. Time lapse tonight up in Greenville on the SVG Chevrolet camera showing night falling. We had some breaks in the clouds out there, but more clouds than breaks in the clouds. And still looking at dry weather after some rain. Over the past 24 hours here in the Dayton area and the Miami Valley, live Doppler 2 HD continues to be dry. Uh, the rains that were around this morning pushing off to the northeast of us now. Most of our weather checkers reporting anywhere about a half inch to about eight tenths of an inch of rain. Although Don Chateau in Sydney, one of the higher totals there at 1.1. Lowell Miller in Greenville, eight tenths of an inch. Uh, up in the Brookville area, Jason Thompson there at uh, 0.9 degrees or 0.9 inches. And looking at uh, rainfall totals. Across Green and Eastern Montgomery County, there around eight tenths of an inch. So, pretty good soaker out there, but at least we have dry weather going into the weekend. Right now in Dayton, 48 degrees, southwest wind at six, and the barometer is rising tonight, 2974. As I mentioned, plenty of mild air south of us, 61. We're one of the cool spots right now with those clouds breaking a bit, but not expecting a whole lot of movement in the temperature tonight as warmer air continues to filter in from the south. Uh, not a whole lot of precipitation. Even though the future track model trying to show some rain, not very likely tonight. Mostly dry weather expected tonight and into tomorrow with those breaks in the clouds. But a different story tomorrow night. Rain becomes a little more likely. Start to see some of those showers break out around the area. Uh, that'll be Saturday night into Sunday morning. And even during the day on Sunday, it looks like some of that rain uh, still scattered around the area. And the winds will start to pick up too as we get into late in the weekend and early next week on Monday. Partly to mostly cloudy skies tonight, upper 40s for the overnight lows. And then tomorrow, clouds mixed with a little bit of sunshine, unseasonably mild. We'll climb up into the lower end of the 60s for the highs. Temperatures uh, on Saturday, 62. Sunday's high, 57 degrees. What's interesting is the fact that uh, we're going to see those temperature readings on Sunday, uh, around 57, running anywhere just like Saturday, 25 to 30 degrees above normal for the weekend. Monday's high, right around 50. 50 degrees looks like a chance of some showers. 50 degrees on Tuesday for the high with a mix of clouds and sunshine. And then finally, some winter weather comes back toward Thursday and Friday. Highs will be in the 30s, even some lows in the upper 20s by Friday, and even a chance of snow showers finally back for Thursday. And Friday. What a concept. Yeah, snow, I know, in, snow January. in January around yeah. Dayton. All right, Brian, thank you.